Hey Fab Fam, welcome back to my kitchen. It is summertime, you're probably thinking about ice cream. I'm probably not the only one, but since I started my fitness journey, I kind of stayed away from ice cream because of heavy cream and I don't know, I kind of stopped eating dairy products altogether because I realized they don't do me any good, they're not really good for my body. That doesn't mean that they're bad per se. So if you're doing good on dairy, just continue eating it. I just do way better on plant-based alternatives. So yeah, I stopped eating ice cream, but lately, and with also Ben and Jerry's reintroducing their vegan ice cream, which is amazing, and I really feel the difference between the usual ice, uh, the regular ice cream. It's not as heavy. It's kind of weird. I never thought I would actually be able to tell a difference, but you can. If you first eat the vegan version and then eat the regular version, oh my gosh, the regular version is so heavy. And yes, yeah, since I don't really eat milk any or drink milk or consume milk anymore, I actually taste the cow. It's kind of, well, yeah, I don't like it. Anyways, um, and when I was scrolling Pop Sugar recently, I found this recipe for a Maison Jean ice cream, which I've never heard of before, but I thought this is amazing because yes, I have a KitchenAid, but I don't have the ice maker because my freezer is way too small to fit a huge ice freezer in there. So this is actually the next best thing using just your Maison Jean to make ice cream. I mean, can it get easier than that? So I thought I'm gonna try this out with you guys today. So they're only using coconut milk, sugar and vanilla extract. And I'm gonna use coconut milk, a few frozen raspberries because I just love raspberries. I will also use the vanilla paste and for color reason, I will add some spirulina powder because I love everything that's teal and I wanna see if I can make this ice cream a really beautiful teal color. So let's see, because raspberries are really coloring and they usually turn everything like dark red, pink, kind of. But maybe if I don't add too many raspberries, well, we let, let's see how it turns out. And I think I will also, yeah, they are calling for granulated sugar, but I will use coconut sugar instead. Are you ready? I'm excited! Let's see how this turns out. So they're calling for one cup heavy cream. I'm gonna get my maison jean ready. So one cup of heavy cream. There's my cup here and I'm gonna open up the coconut milk. Let's see. Oh, this is already solid. Let me get a spoon. Here comes the liquid. And this should be one cup. Okay, this is gonna be hard not adding this without making a mess. But I made it. Alright, so we got this. Then we're going to add the raspberries. So put them in here. And then we're going to add the sugar. So they take one and a half tablespoons. Wow, that's a lot. All right, so we're gonna do this too. One. And a half. I just love these pineapple measuring spoons. Now this is one tablespoon and a half. It's one teaspoon probably. And all right. Got that. And half a teaspoon vanilla extract. So I'm just gonna go with the flow here and add as much as I feel like. Okay, I think there should be enough. And then we are going to add the spirulina powder. Not too much. I think we can adjust along the way. And now, wow, this is turning into a workout. Now we have to shake it. 
So let's see. You have to shake it until it doubles in size. Ooh, I think I made a mess. Anyway, so let's see. Right now it doesn't really look teal yet. <laughs> it more looks like a banana milkshake. I'm kind of wondering how this is supposed to double in size. But apparently... Shake it! Yeah, you can already see it turning kind of rosé from the strawberries. Is this doubled in size yet? I don't know. <laughs> shake it, shake it, shake it. Hmm. Seems like it's getting more, but I don't know. Three to five minutes. Oh my god, yes, that's a long time. Feel like a barkeeper. Yeah, I think this has roughly doubled in size. I don't feel like shaking anymore. All right, this goes into the freezer now and we will three see each other in three hours when it's done. All right guys, the big moment is here. Um, I left the ice cream in the freezer for three hours and now we're going to get it out and see if this actually worked. I'm really excited. All right, here it is, and it seems to be frozen. So let's see if I can open it up now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks good so far. I don't know the consistency. I think it's not all the way frozen yet, but this is actually all right because I like mine to be not as frozen. Now, and now on to the taste test. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm, it's actually really good. You can taste the strawberries, it's sweet. Yep, that's definitely something I'm gonna do more often. Wow, okay. Well, I'm continuing eating this right now and you make sure to subscribe, give this a thumbs up and also head over to my blog to find the full recipe. Bye guys. <laughs>